Hello, in this video, we are going to look on, how to configure the SSL certificate, using, Let's Encrypt. I, have already hosted a WordPress test website in Ubuntu instance. Let me close all other tabs, and, show you from the beginning. Now using the public IPv4 address, I'm going to load the test page and then, with the domain name, just to show. The website loads fine in both. Site is loading fine, but it says, your connection to this site is not secured. Opening the terminal to SSH Ubuntu instance to start the setup. Zooming in for the better view. Logged into the instance now. First, I'm about to show you the Apache configuration file. To do we need to go to the, etc. Apache 2, sites available. Under sites available I've created a configuration file with the name wordpress.conf. Here, I'm going to show you their, content in the file, using cat command. The server name and server alias name is set to my domain name. And in this configuration file, there is no HTTPS redirection is configured. Let us start with the setup now. Step 1. Install the CertBot software on your server, to obtain an SSL certificate from, Let's Encrypt to do. Use the following command. sudo apt get install python3 certbot apache y to confirm installation. Certbox installation is completed. Step 2. To obtain SSL certificate, use the following command. sudo certbot hyphen hyphen apache. We need to enter our email address. And then hit enter. Next, we need to enter capital. A. To agree terms of service. Here, I'm going with yes to share my email with the foundation. Press Y. And hit enter. In this part. You will see the domain and alias domain to activate HTTPS 4. If you like to add HTTPS for both the domain don't enter any numbers. Just leave the input as blank, and hit enter. Here, I'm going with the option 2, to redirect all traffic from HTTP to HTTPS. SSL certificate is added successfully.
Scrolling little up to show how to test the SSL certificate, use the following URL in the browser. Once done, it will take few minutes to check the SSL certificate, and generate a complete report on it. Now, the scan is completed and the overall rating is, A, great, A, refers strong commercial security. Next, I'm going to try, open my web page using my domain. The website loaded fine with the SSL certificate it added to it. When you click on the lock icon, before the domain, we can see the details of the certificate. The SSL certificate is configured well and good for the website. This certificate will be valid for 3 months duration. So, in this scenario, we can either renew manually, or we can add the cron job, to automate the renewal.